Hey guys, and welcome back to Sports Design School, where we teach you everything you need to know to create high quality sports designs in Adobe Photoshop. And guess what? It's a free PSD video today. That's right, we're giving away the PSD to this video completely free right below in the description. Check below for the download link. And let me talk about what we're going to be covering in this video a little bit. I had someone reach out to me through our Instagram, which if you're not following, hit the follow at Sports Design School on Instagram. Uh, we post all of our updates and tips and you can message us any questions you have and we'll answer any time. But someone sent us this design and said, hey, how do we recreate this look in Adobe Photoshop? Now, good news. This is actually really simple to do. I think this is a design done by NC State um, and they did an awesome job. Shout out to them for that. It looks really cool. So I'm just going to be walking through how to recreate this design. Um, and guys, I seriously, it's pretty easy to do. So even if you're just a beginner, don't worry about it. You're going to learn something new in this video. Let's dive in. So to start off, I'm just going to drag this into my original document that I created. And I'm just going to hit this button and hit a new solid color. And then I'm just going to choose this kind of shade of black that they have in this image. And that's already a good start. Now, instead of doing all of these different faces, I'm just going to do one face for this video because it's just the same process over and over again. And I think you guys will get it after our first attempt. And so I'm going to use this image right here. And this image is from a website called Pexels, where it's completely free to use any of the images from the site. And I'll link this image down in the description if you want to use it. Again, you'll have the PSC to download as well. But I'm just going to drag this image over to our document, just like that. And I'm going to bring it up to the very top. And I'm going to hide this for now. So you can see in our original, it's really just the face of our players. There's not any of the body or anything. So I'm just gonna start off by selecting just the face on this particular image. And I'm gonna do that by just hitting here, using my rectangular marquee tool. And I'm just going to click and drag just like that. And so we just have the face. And I'm going to hit mask just like that. And there we go, we just have the face. And now what I'm gonna do, for the sake of maintaining our layers, I'm just gonna right click and hit convert to smart object. And that allows us to add another mask on top of that mask, because we wanna further cut out this image. I'm next gonna go through and just hit select subject on that image. And we just wanna select the head cutout, just like that. And I'm gonna hit select and mask real quick. And I just put out a video on this a couple of days ago, but the best way to refine hair in Photoshop, if you don't know, is the Refine Edge Brush tool. And you can just go over the edges and brush just like that. It's really magical. And Photoshop refines the edges of the hair for you. That looks pretty good. So I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to create a mask on that image, just like that. And so let's go back to our original. You'll see that we're already getting close to being finished with this design. Now what I'm going to do in this particular image is hit, at the top bar, hit select, and then go down to color range. And you'll see what we're going to do here in a second. And I'm going to select the highlights from my image. Now right now I have it set at 84 and 145, and I think that's pretty good. Let me play around with it a little bit. and Yeah, I think I'm going to leave it at 84 and 145. I'm just going to hit OK. And you'll see by doing that, we isolate all of the highlights from our image, which is really awesome. We're able to just select the highlights. I'm then going to go down to this button down here and hit Solid Color. And what that does is it creates a solid color only within the area that we just selected. So only the highlights are going to be covered in whatever color we just generated. So I'm going to make this red to match our original design, just like that. And that looks pretty good. I'm going to hide the layer beneath it now so you can see. 
just like that, we're already really close to this effect. Now you notice it doesn't really have any of the neck or the body in these images, so I'm just going to hide this for now and then click on my mask and tap B to pull up the brush. Now I'm just going to, oh, we want to paint black and I'm just going to paint black on all of the areas that we want to get rid of. Just like that and just like that. I might turn my flow down just a little bit so we can get a little bit of a soft edge. And I'm gonna scale up my image using Command T to scale that up. Let's go back to our original. You can see we're already really close. Now a couple of finishing touches here on this design. They have the text all across here. So I'm just going to hit, I think it said hard, tough, together was what it said. And I'm going to use a font called Akira. And I'll put the link to this Akira font in the description if you want to download it for yourself. And I'm going to set my color to white. And then decrease my image size to match. And they had it pretty small in the corner, I think. So we're just going to match that. And it looks like they have periods after every single one. And then this last line is this color. Perfect. I'm then going to just type and add a name. So I'm just going to use a random name off the top of my head, like Jacob Smith. I'm going to put that there and adjust the color to white and then spread this out just a little bit and maybe decrease the text. That's looking pretty good so far. And then the last thing they have in this design is this 21 overlay and that's really easy to do. I'm just going to hit T to bring up my text tool and type 21 and I'm going to use a font called Lust Script. And I'll link that down in the description as well if you want to use this for your own designs. And I'm going to scale that up. To be about that size. Center it. And then I'm going to set my blending mode. Let's see. To, I think I'm going to stick with soft light for now. Soft light looks pretty good. And I'm going to adjust my fill. And it looks like theirs is just a little bit more faint than ours. So I'm going to go down to maybe 30. And that looks pretty good. Maybe scale it up just a little bit more. And there you go guys, it's that easy. Hopefully you're able to follow along. If you have any questions, just leave them down in the description. Again, I'm gonna put this PSD down in the description to download completely free if you want to use it for yourself. Um, but that's it guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you give us a like if you learned something new and make sure you subscribe to our channel to make sure you don't miss out on any new tutorials coming soon. Have a great one.